absolutely zero things to do today. Today I'm going to be making a YouTube video about what these piercings were like, the healing process, if I regretted them. <laughs> the snake eyes and the original tongue piercing um, so I'm gonna say that my tongue piercing was like a seven uh, of it getting pierced that might be a little dramatic honestly um, I just remember that there was a lot of pain with it but it was more the healing process that really hurt me like it was it was painful. I usually am not dramatic over freaking tongue piercings or anything, but I would say that piercing almost got taken out because of how painful the healing process was. But at the end of the day, it looks amazing. I love it and I'm going to keep it until I'm possibly old and wrinkly or it messes up my teeth. Um, the snake eyes. Um, that wasn't too bad. I'd say it getting pierced was like maybe a three, possibly a four. The pain wasn't too bad and the healing process also wasn't too bad. A lot of people say that it's uh, dangerous and you shouldn't get it pierced. Literally so many people tell me that. I'm well aware that it's dangerous, but a lot of piercers actually don't do it because it's extremely hard to get straight. If you look on the side of your tongue. Tongue piercings with braces does not do anything at all. It did not cause me any pain. It never gets stuck into my braces. I used to have an expander and it still did not get stuck. So if your mom is worried that if you get, you know, braces or tongue piercing that it's gonna be horrible, it's not. It's, it's the exact same thing. You'll see two veins on the side of it. You might not have that. I'm pretty sure everyone has it though. Um, you're supposed to just basically skip the veins and you'll be okay. It wasn't that bad. I literally pierced it at home and that's way more dangerous. So if you want to get it, get it, but it's not my fault if you end up getting freaking paralyzed. I'm telling you that now. I recently just got this pierced. I can't remember the name. I got it pierced like one week ago. If I can show you all it possibly kind of up close. I was very scared to get this pierced for some reason. Kyle, I'm not ready. I think I'm gonna back out. Not ready, Kyle. Kyle, I'm not ready. Oh my god, I'm gonna back out. Oh, I'm not soon. ready. Okay, move your phone. Kyle. Move your phone. Guys, don't do it no, yet. Kyle. I don't know why I was so scared. The moment of it getting pierced, it actually did not hurt at all. It was like maybe a two, maybe a one. I did not feel anything with this piercing besides the sound of it going through, you know, the little toot -toot. It's a great piercing. The healing process feels like nothing. I'm sleeping and I don't feel it at all. Getting gauges, I would probably say that that was a really bad idea with me. When I pierced it, I skipped a bunch of sizes. It's not the worst feeling, but it's also not the greatest feeling. I honestly wouldn't suggest for you to do it if you're very, um, what would you call it? Uh, sensitive to piercings. I wouldn't suggest getting it, but if you're wanting it and you can take pain, get it. After the size of two is when it starts hurting. The two hurts like crazy, but besides that, after it, it doesn't really hurt that much. If you're going to stretch, what I suggest you do after you hit a two is start stretching with this. It's so disgusting, but start stretching with these um, squishy little things. Uh, it slowly gets bigger once you have them in the hole, and it it you feel nothing at all. So that's what I would suggest to you. Eyebrow piercing. I used to have an eyebrow piercing. I took it out because I thought my face was a little too cluttered because I have such a button face, whatever you want to call it, button nose. I just didn't think it looked too great on me. Other people can pull it off, but I didn't think it would look as good on me. That piercing was not bad at all. It was like maybe a three, not even that. 
it did not hurt that bad. In fact, I would get it again. I'm thinking about getting it again. I'd suggest for you to get it. The eyebrow piercing looks great on everybody, no matter face shape, anything, you're small, you're big. It, it does not matter. It looks great on everyone. My mom has it, and she looks amazing with it. My sister used to have it. I mean, it fits on everyone's face. Moving on to my lip piercings. They did not hurt at all. I did not feel it go in. I quite literally did not feel the piercing. Uh, I didn't even feel it go through. When they pierced it, I was like, are you done? They were like, yeah. I've pierced a couple people's lips and they've all said it felt like nothing. I feel like that's a piercing that anyone could get. I used to have my septum pierced. It's not a piercing I would suggest to people only because of my experience, but I've met many people with a septum piercing and they did not have the same experience as me. Um, I got it professionally pierced and it bled everywhere. I'm not sensitive to piercings. I can take pain whether it hurts or not. I almost passed out, got completely pale. The healing process, it was horrible. Um, it ended up making my nose collapse, so now uh, I have a collapsing nose and it like has damaged my nose so much, but that's my experience. It hurt like crazy. I would never ever get it again. The people who like actually have had it and were around me, they said that their piercing wasn't that bad, that it was like basically a five, maybe a three like out of the people I've heard from. Basically any of these piercings I've pierced myself, but it was still like a one. Really wasn't that bad to be honest. If you're thinking about getting a piercing, do it. Do it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's fun feeling manic and nothing's permanent. And if your parents are like, you're gonna look old and wriggly and if you're gonna regret it, who's gonna look the best when they're freaking 50 or I don't know, 80. No one cares about the scars. You're gonna have wrinkles. <laughs> you're not gonna see it that much. And if you're looking for a piercing that you can hide from your parents, I didn't say anything, but get the septum piercing. You can fold it in. It looks amazing on literally everyone. Do it, go dye your hair, go pierce yourself, pierce your septum, your eyebrow, your tongue. Don't pierce your snake eyes at home because I was absolutely not smart for doing that. I was just extremely unsafely manic, so if you're wanting to do it, you could be as crazy as me, but I'm not suggesting it. I don't think it's safe, but I did it, so don't let me be your influencer. <laughs>